Would you like to find out how to turn this beautiful design into this split design? Hang around, I'll show you how. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Susan with Blue Vinyl Stickers and today I am going to show you how to take a design and split it so you can add personalization in the middle. It's really super simple, easy and quick to do. So as usual, I am going to let you know that this is a Silhouette Business Edition and this is a version 4.2.279. This is the latest version as of, the, uh, as of today. And so you will see a couple different things than you may have seen previously uh, if you have not upgraded. So let's go ahead and pull up that design. As you can see, as I've showed in other videos, I think that the library has been redesigned. So we've got all sorts of new stuff here. So check out that video and I'll let you know exactly what these things are. So today we are going to be using this design right here. Same thing, right mouse click and either say merge or open. If you say open, it puts it into a new window. If you say merge, it puts it into the existing window that you have open. So we're just going to say merge because I don't need any more windows open. I'm going to turn on my grid. So come over here to the uh, the first icon which is the paper that has the turn corner and I'm going to click on the grid and I'm going to say show grid. Now I like my divisions at two. Each one of these squares is one inch so I like it at two. That just shows me every half inch. So today I think what we're going to do is we're going to put it up at four. So I see every quarter inch. Grid color is whatever color you choose to make it. Um, default, I believe, is red. Today we'll use blue, just because I like blue. And we are going to go ahead and make this. I like to have a uh, an even number when I am splitting, so I'm just going to go ahead and lock the lock, so the aspect ratio is um, does not change. And I'm going to put it at six. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put it at 8. Okay, because we are working on a grid of 4. So now I've moved it around a little bit. I'm going to highlight it. Come over here to my scale, which is already open. And go ahead and center it and center it. And there you have it centered in the page. Now this is the real fun part. I'm going to go ahead and just grab the square. And I want it to be about that far out on each side and I want it to be about a quarter of an inch high. Now that's your preference on what you want. Um, I just like a quarter of an inch. So I am going to leave the aspect ratio unlocked and I'm going to set it for 10 inches because I like even numbers and I'm going to set it for a quarter of an inch high. And so when I get ready to split this, that won't hang over too far and it'll be a nice um, a nice thickness for that bar. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this bar because you need an upper and a lower bar. So the bars are all set. So I'm going to find the center and using the, uh, the ruler, since I have this set at uh, the page is at 12 inches. I know the center of the page is at 6. So we see 6 on the ruler here and 6 on the ruler here. Okay, So I'm going to go up probably a half an inch. I'm going to grab the knife. And I am going to go, seeing as how this is, look at the center. I'm going to go up a half an inch. And I am going to click and drag. Now before I let go, look at the, right here is the um, the size. So I want to make sure this is level. See it flick back and forth? I want it to be absolutely at zero. When it flicks off, it is absolutely straight. Unclick. Or just let up. And you see it puts a, a cut here. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom side of that. So here is the center again and I'm going to go down so it is a, basically an inch over and find that level spot there it is 
and slice. Come up here, get my select tool, select this one, hold down my shift key, select this one, hit my delete key. And now I have a perfectly uh, split heart. Now, it looks like I may want to go just a little bit more on this one. So you can come down here and I'm going to cut out another inch. Okay, I haven't moved the design at all. We just come down here with another inch, select them, hit delete, hit delete. And I'm thinking that may be too much. Yep, that's too much. So I'm going to hit back, back, back. Hit P in the back barrels, and there it puts it all back together. Grab this, and I had it at a half an inch. Let's just take down this much, which is another half inch. So my bar is now at one and a half inches. Okay. And hit delete. That looks good to me. Now, here's here's something you need to know. Go ahead and right mouse click and say group. Because if you don't, you're going to move everything around and you, you don't want to move things around. Now, take your bar, just take one of the bars, and highlight them both, and hit center. You see what happened? Okay, the whole, um, the whole design moved. And let me turn off this grid for you because you don't need to see it now. Okay, you see how these are apart? It won't work like that. So highlight it and just go up to where you think that it is touching. Now, if you want to know if you have made it touch and it is going to be correct, and it looks like, there we go. For some reason, it wanted, wanted to almost crash on me there. So that's a bug. So highlight these both. Right mouse click and say weld. It did, but it didn't. Okay? So we're going to reverse, reverse, or back up, back up. And now we're going to take it and go up just a couple of ticks. Let me go in and show you. You see, it's just past that mark there. Highlight them both. Right mouse click and say weld. And now it's all one piece. Okay. Again, highlight these both and group them. Bring this piece over and you'll see why in a second. You're going to take these two pieces and center them. Okay. If you do not, let me back up a couple and show you. If you do not group these two pieces, when I bring this one over, and obviously it's not centered, if I group all of these and say center, watch what happens. Okay, everything moves, and it's not going to be centered like it's supposed to be. So I'm going to highlight them both. Oops. Say group. Highlight this one. I'll grab it, put it in there. Okay, everything is centered. You take these two and say weld. And now, cut, okay, put it back where it was. Highlight, right mouse click, and say group. Now you can come over here. Change it to whatever you want. Now, before you do anything with this, highlight it and stretch it out a little bit. Now, it's still not big enough to where I like it. Take it. Pull it out. Okay. 
Okay. Highlight everything. Put it in the center. Highlight it all. Right mouse click. Group it. Color it. And there you go. There is your split design. I hope it was uh, helpful to those who want to do a split design and see how quick and easy it actually really is to make a split design. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.